Hey everyone, Justin from the GenEI team back with another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be covering the reference library right here. And think of the reference library like any other reference management tool like Zotero, like Mendeley, but integrated directly within the Jenny workspace. So how you can upload sources to your library is just simply by clicking this blue plus icon right here. And you can upload PDFs up to 10 at a time. You can import bibtex or .bib files where you can upload hundreds of sources at a time or you can simply paste in a DOI, a PubMed or an archive URL directly into the Jenny library. So I have one right here. I click search. Jenny has found the paper and I can import it directly into my library just like that. If I click on the source itself, I can actually review all of the metadata and actually edit it accordingly as well if any changes need to be made. If it looks good to me, with the click of a button, I can actually just click cite and it's instantly added into my paper, just like that. And a reference is also added to my reference list below automatically. What I can also do is click on individual or multiple papers and add them into a collection just for better organization. I can export the selected sources uh, to a .bib or a bib text file or I can simply delete the sources, just like so. So another thing I can do is favorite certain sources that I find the most useful to me and actually filter by various different requirements such as the author, journal, publish date, or my favorites, just like that. So with the library, it's actually also really great for a tailored writing experience because Jenny not only will provide suggestions based on our online database of 250 million research articles, but it can also provide citations and suggestions based on the contents within your library as well. And there's also a setting that you can toggle for this where you can actually turn off auto cite from external sources from our online database. So now Jenny will only cite and provide suggestions based on the content within your library as shown just like that. So that's pretty much how you use the Jenny library and thanks for watching.